Hey, it's your favorite Q the Raider here with another how-to tutorial. I'm sure you clicked on this video because you want to know how to do this style. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Meet me at the shampoo bowl. shampoo bowl and you want to just blow dry your client's hair in sections. I promise you this will make the process so much easier. The blow dry is complete. What we're going to focus on next is the parting. So every time I start parting I like to start right down the middle and for this particular hair amount you definitely want to start by the middle and do one side at a time so here i go parting down the middle once you have your part down the middle you're going to go ahead and follow it with some product so the product i'll be following my part with today is shine and jam so you want to do this just to make sure everything is sleek and neat you want to give it a finished look so i'm going to use about this amount you're going to trace the part with your product the way you trace the lines when you're coloring in your coloring book here we go trace 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 all the way until the end of the part the product literally just rolls off your finger so after that step what we're going to do is just trace the part again and here, this is where you make the hair pick a side. You're gonna pick the right side or you're gonna pick the left side, but the hair gotta go to the right or to the left. So as you guys see, I kind of trace it more than one time. Do not be afraid to trace back over your part as many times as you need to get it straight. Do not move forward until your middle part is straight. I'm going to go ahead and work one side at a time. So I'm going to clip the right side and I'm going to start the parting on the left side. What you see here is I parted off the first row. I go from front to back. So I went on and mapped out one, two, three, four, five, six twist. See one here, one here, one there and one there. I went on and braided the root of the first one. So this is what I'm about to demonstrate on this one right here. So you're going to get out your pre-parted section. And this is where you're going to get three even sections. One, two, three. And what I'm going to do is braid the root down. So all I'm doing is taking the middle over the right and then the middle over the left. So let me do it in regular speed make sure that there's product on the root this will keep it flat and shiny giving it the finished look again separate into three sections as even as possible going to take the middle over the right then the middle over the left that's one middle over the right middle over the left that's two middle over the right middle over the left that's three and keep going down Keep going down until you get to about 10 or 11 times and boom, you have this. You always want to braid down further than you want the twist to stop because when you let it go, it's going to unravel a little bit. So I'm just about to go ahead and complete the rest of this row. Again, as you see here, if you need clamps, definitely use clamps, but I'm a little bit more advanced, so the comb is good enough for me, especially due to the fact that his hair isn't super long. It just kind of stay in place. And just for the sake of the underhanded people, I'm going to do these last two 
underhanded. And there you have it. The first row is completed and that's six twists. So I'm about to go ahead and complete the other two rows. When you're parting the rows, you wanna make sure, turn to the left a little bit for me. You wanna make sure each row is a similar thickness so you can get the same look on, on each row. You don't want one to be skinnier than the other one. You want all of them to be a similar thickness so that the twist can end up the same size. So while you're parting from front to back, you're gonna start towards the temple and you're gonna go back and you wanna curve with their head. So you just don't, we don't wanna go straight back like this. You wanna make sure you start straight and curve with their head. Like so, when you come into the back, the same thing, make sure it's a similar thickness between all the rows. And this is me curving with his head. So the twist in the back have somewhere to end. Some people, they continue to part straight and when you get back here, it doesn't end in the right spot. So make sure you're curving as the head curves. all the rows I completed again I did three on each side this is row one two and three and both sides are even so the next step would be the twist before you start twisting you want to add some moisturizing cream today I'm using as I am double butter cream now you're welcome to use anything that you would like but this is my preference right here so I use about the same amount of product every time I'm using any product I use. So I'm gonna use about this amount here. You wanna rub it in like lotion. And then you're going to squish it into the hair. Squish and rub, squish and rub. And just to make sure it's all over the hair, you can open it up, rub it down, open it up, rub it down and do the same thing on the other side. Now let's get into twisting it on up. So here I just like to start one row at a time again. I'm gonna take the other two rows and I'm gonna clamp them out of the way. Right before we start twisting, I'm going to apply Nairobi foam. You can use any foam that you would like, but this is my preference right here. I just like to pump it into my hands and you see it gives a good amount. I like to start from the back and I'm just gonna scrunch it over my fingers, wipe it onto the twist, turn the three strands into two even strands and you're just gonna twist to the right. Twist, 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 twist. Once you get to the end, you wanna take some extra product and you want to finger coil the bottom to seal it. And voila, there you have it. So me, I twist to the right, but you're welcome to twist to the left if that's more comfortable for you. To the right is comfortable for me, but if to the left is comfortable for you, you can do that. Gonna show you guys again. I'm gonna pump my product, wipe it down, 
split the three strands into two and twist, 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 twist. Just keep twisting, just keep twisting, just keep twisting, twisting, twisting. What do we do? We twist, twist, twist. Extra foam, finger coil. There y'all have it. So I'm about to go ahead and finish the rest of the twist. follow all of those steps you too can have your clients twist looking like this thank you for watching this video if you learned anything new from this tutorial leave it in the comment section down below like comment subscribe and share see you guys next video